Welcome to this week's Haunted Hour podcast. This week, I have another treat for you. I have Sam Hundley of Sam's Pretty Paranormal, and we talk all about having dreams about a haunted doll that we both met at Zach Bagan's Haunted Museum. So let's get right into the episode, and I will put all of her links below so you can find her awesome channel as well. You and I, a couple of years ago, we both, um, you had posted on Zach Bagan's Twitter that you had had mm -hmm. a dream about Lily the doll. Yeah. And that was after visiting his haunted museum, right? Yes. And I wore his, well, I wore his shirt oh. today. Just to oh, celebrate. cute. I should have thought of that. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one that you picked yeah. when you were there? That's, yeah, this is the one I picked out when I was there. That's cool. Yeah. They didn't have the red one in my size. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see. I think they had black. Yeah, I think, I, and then I saw the red, so I was like, I'm going to be different. I'm going to get the red. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, and I also had a dream about Lily the doll after I visited. And so, and like, you know, I you go on a page and you post and there's kind of crickets and stuff. And yeah. so you posted that you had seen, you know, had the same experience. Then that's how we connected in the first place. Exactly. And but yeah. um, so refresh, because I totally forget what your dream was about. Oh my goodness. So, um, when, just to recap leading up to that point. So we were visiting my mom and when, when you first go into Zach's, um, museum, that, that first room is where she is. And immediately when I walked in there, I got lightheaded, like almost immediately. And I was like, Whoa, you know, what, what is that all about? And, yeah. um, you know, I did look at her and I looked at all the other things, but I never thought, you know, anything about it. And then I thought that, you know, maybe just being there in his museum where I've been a fan right. for so long, it was just overwhelming. And I was just yeah. fangirling at the time, but it was, um, a couple of weeks later, we come back home and it was like a string of things just happening. Um, my cat got stolen or just, awful stuff yeah. yeah and when I was asleep it was one night I had went to bed and in the dream it was like I could smell his museum it's that that specific smell yeah. it's and I'm not sure what was that dragon's blood incense or I something? think it is yeah they burn a lot of incense yeah yeah it was like strong but to smell it like to be able to actually smell it here. Yeah, it, it was just weird. Freaky, and yeah. she, she was like above me. So she was above me, but, and I could see her, but it was like, it was like something sitting on my chest. It was like just heavy, really heavy. Just sit <laughs> It was just a heaviness on my chest. And it was just like, she was just like, like that. I could just see her. And then I could just smell the museum. And I was just like, yeah. whoa, that's, that's intense. And she was just staring so, at you? Yes. It was the weirdest thing. But I just, it was also just the pressure of the, I don't know what she was, yeah, I don't know <laughs> what yeah. that was, but it was yeah. intense. Yeah. It was intense. Yeah. Wow. I told my husband about it and I was like, wow, I've never, and never even thought about, you know, she didn't scare me. Yeah, because they don't promo the doll that they they make a big deal about is Peggy, right? Don't look at Peggy. Make sure you say yes. hi. Make sure you say goodbye. They don't say any barely now through the years they've gotten to say more. But like when I went there, Lily was just kind of in a box and it was not a yep. big deal. Nothing was said mm -hmm. too much about her. I didn't even really like I know I looked at her, but I didn't think too much about it. Mm -hmm. I was more worried about Peggy, right? Yeah. And so my dream, I had two. One, and it's interesting that you were talking about the cat because the second dream I had with her, um, she was in my backyard demanding to come in the house and I wouldn't let her in. And she was the doll, yeah. but she was like an entity, you know, like she yeah. wasn't like a doll. <laughs> yeah. And, and she was demanding to come in the house and I wouldn't let her in the house. And my dog died the next day. And for the longest time, I had all this guilt. Like I left, you know, like, did I not banish the spirit? It was in doing something to my dog. 
But then yeah. I realized then later I thought, well, maybe she was letting me know that the dog was ill and was going to die. Like I always took her to be a bad entity, but maybe she's not. Maybe. Yeah. And I pulled a tarot card asking about her and I can share that with you now. I pulled oh, yeah. the um, seven of wands card and I looked that up and the seven of wands is about service and sacrifice. And it said uh, there somebody who's weary and tired from a long travel has eyes of intuition they need to stay focused on their mission and not to deviate through the trials that accompany the seeker along the way and it said pain and loneliness are often the only companion and it's about service to others and i was like that kind of matches my theory and so they're like saying all this stuff about her you know that she's an evil entity but what if she's yeah. not maybe her floating above you was a message you know something yeah, that you that... needed to know as well yeah oh my gosh <laughs> that is that's that's wow right i never thought of it like that yeah it was just so scary right because... and i was terrified too yeah i was like yeah. oh my god why am i especially when the dog died i you know it was like very emotional because it was like why is yeah. this happening you know yeah um and so and then I, I that made me go back and i'll bring up the dog because we're talking about it but i didn't share it for anybody who doesn't know Let's see. So this is the lead the doll. Yeah. And so I looked up the original posts from Zach Bagans and the museum. Cause I'm like, I feel like the story's changed. And the original story, according to his posts were that, uh, her name is Lily. She's, uh, got real human hair. She's an 1800s German doll. The owner who had her originally was a man. And he said yeah. he had nightmares about a girl having an accident. And then he ended up taking her to an Oregon antique shop. And that lady uh, was having nightmares as well. And I think I have her here. So she was oh, also yeah. having nightmares about the doll. Um, yeah. But the reason that, that she has the name Lily is apparently a girl came, a little girl came into the antique store and was talking to the doll. They say for hours, but I would think anyone would stop their child from talking to a doll <laughs> for hours. I, know. Be like, What's I would be you? concerned at that point. <laughs> I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a couple of minutes while they were busy, you know, and the little right. girl was the one that said that her name, uh, that she had said her name was Lily. And so I got that all off of his social media. Yeah. So that's interesting. Right. I thought, wow. and then just, she does look, especially in this photo, she looks pretty scary, but what she, if she's like yeah. misunderstood? <laughs> she could be. And see, that's like with the cat, my cat being stolen at that same like right in that same time period yeah. and then it was like i don't know it was maybe a little bit i would say a week later my neighbor came over and he was like um did you have a gray looking cat or and i was like no she was white but she had a gray tail uh -huh. and he was like oh i i called the i called the con the um the control the animal yeah, control like, on her yeah. And I was like, you knew that was my cat. Like you knew that was, he knew that was my cat. I've had her for like three years. And so wow. that was. So, so a neighbor called the animal control because your cat was alive and just. <laughs> my, she walked over there and yeah. he said she kept getting on my trucks. Well, mind you, these trucks are like, they carry trailers, tractor trailers. Yeah. So these are big trucks. What is she right. going to do to right. that truck? You know, oh my it's like she, and so for him to do that, knowing that, I mean, me and her spent so much time outside, just every, I was with, we were all the time and she was just everything. And, and he just, I was like, wow. So you got her back? No, I didn't get oh. her back. They didn't do intake papers on her, which I found really odd. And when I called yeah. the shelter, she was there the day I called, she was there. And they said, we don't see her in the system because uh -huh. there was no papers. And yeah. so I called a few days later and they were like, and I described her, I was like, are you sure that you don't have this cat? And they said, oh, wait, we put her out front a couple of days ago and she was gone like five minutes. I was like, that's what kind something. Of dog pound does that? <laughs> I don't know. I was like, what in the wow. world? They, and they just didn't help me. They just, they, it was just, it was horrible. That, that is horrible. So then that kind of goes with, so then the next, the night after she disappeared is when Lily was floating over you? Yeah, it was like, was it was like a night or two. 
she that, could have been. That goes with my theory to let you know, but she couldn't communicate to you what exactly. was happening. But she was telling you about him that he yes. had. Hopefully, she went and haunted him a good bit. I hope. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. But because I was like, at that point, I was just like, well, hopefully, she's in a good home. That's all I can yeah. hope for. But I'm yeah. sure, but that's still not right or fair. No, it hurt oh. really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ugh. So, but yeah, that could have been why she she visited me because it. But I never like put two and two together. I just thought, oh, you know, that's a scare. <laughs> like what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was the only time you had the dream, right? That was the only dream I've had of her. Yeah. And that's the only dream I've had of uh, his museum. Period. Um, because yeah. like you said, when we were there. I kept telling my husband, I was like, oh gosh, I, I was really nervous about going into Peggy's area yeah and I was too, like yeah. I'm just not gonna look at her and he was just like I'm gonna look at her I was like you go right in <laughs> I looked down the whole time I was like nope nope because <laughs> I don't know yeah but, you know oh no. my gosh well I told you last time I went there we went into the basement did you go into the basement no we didn't get to go in the basement oh, well, I want to I want to go back and go there it's worth going to do that um yeah that was really interesting uh we went into the basement and they have a spirit. It's really weird because you like walk through this hall that does look like a castle. It's all weird. And there's mm -hmm. like the Bella Lugosi mirrors at the end of the hall. And all you can hear is a spirit box going. And we got in there and something came over me and I got really weird. And I like folded my arms and got all badass at it. I don't know what, that's <laughs> not my, <laughs> I was like ready to provoke the spirits oh. in the basement. And it literally said, stop. And I said to my husband, I go, did it just say stop? And then it told me to F off. Oh my <laughs> gosh. So that place oh is so weird. And I didn't have any, like, the only time I ever had nightmares about it was the, the doll Lily, not the Dybbuk box, yeah. not anything else. So I think it's yeah. like, and they moved her though. She's not in that front room now. She's in the, um, like the dining room and they don't oh, talk really? about her really at all. So I think she's well, the, the star of the whole show and they just don't know it. <laughs> I, yeah, because I have not had anybody or I've not seen anyone else say anything about about her. Like no experiences. Yeah. I mean, you're the only one I've I've seen. Yeah. So I find huh. it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to put a, a post out there on Haunted Hour and ask and see and if see anybody if yeah, has been, I'll put yeah. that up right before I put this episode up. Yeah, it'd so, be interesting. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. so I've been following your channel, Sam's Pretty Paranormal, and you're doing a bunch of different like types of episodes, which are really fun. You're doing the cooking with celebrities, right? So yeah, me, like cooking, all cooking the for the dead. Yeah, <laughs> cooking for the dead. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've been doing, like, I first started out, I was going to do, like, um, spirit box and, and paranormal investigations and everything like that, but um, I had an experience at the um, cemetery nearby me, and I, and things, like, went south, and I was like, okay, well, mm. maybe I should just maybe not. <laughs> take a step back. And plus, where my kids and stuff, I was like, I don't know if I should do that or not. So I was like, maybe I'll just do makeup and then I'll just tell other people's experiences with the paranormal. Yeah. So I, I started doing that. And then, I don't know, I've just been throwing little twists in there. Like, I, I think I've done a few reaction videos and like the Sam After Dark where I tell yeah. like a, a spooky story. And Cooking for the Dead is another twist. So... I, I pull up, you know, celebrities that have passed and see what their last meal was. And then uh, I'm trying to um, cook their last meal. And then while I'm trying it out, tell about paranormal ghost stories, if there's any out there of people that may have like seen them. Yeah. So the one I got coming up um, now is going to be about Elvis. Oh, so, cool. and I know Austin Butler um, when he was making the movie Elvis, he said he, he had a few experiences oh. with Elvis and oh, wow. like getting really close to him, like drawn close to him. Wow. So I thought I would tell that. It's it's yeah, interesting. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this yeah. whole idea. I thought that was so different and fun and get little yeah. recipes and <laughs> stories. <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've got to try a banana, peanut butter, and bacon sandwich for Elvis. So I <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, that was that like what he his ate? staple. That was he loved that sandwich. So I'm oh. trying to like understand why. But when I try it, maybe <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I can't wait to find out how you like that. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> oh know. my god. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for uh, sharing your story, and I definitely will uh, will follow up on a poll and see if we can get other people who have had this experience yeah. as well. And yeah, I would love to see that. That'd be cool. Yeah. Thank you for listening. If you would like your dream analyzed, please click on the link below. Don't forget to check out my weekly dream symbol class that you can find on my social media and the blog at the end of the month. And I will see you guys next week. And don't forget to write down your dreams.